up in a bit of pain today, my foot is, for whatever reason, killing me again. So, um, I stream it froze up, I, uh, my computer froze, and then I wasn't able to actually progress, uh, basically, uh, you can cut the stream out at the halfway point and use the boss fight. So I thought I'd make that up by finishing up Partitio's chapter. The dungeon slog really You promised me! You said you'd help me bring the steam engine to impoverished towns that need it! Perhaps we made that promise, verbally, non-binding. But you haven't forgotten the contract you signed with us, have you? All intellectual property rights related to the steam engine will pass to the Rock Company in return for provision of research funding. <laughs> the Rock Company owns all rights to your steam engine. I'm sure our mutual boss will be delighted to hear that you've invented a better model. Nevertheless, we have no intention of letting anyone else benefit from our property. Period. B but Forget your silly dreams, Floyd. They're not needed here. Silly? Uh, I won't stand for that. This research can bring prosperity to people all around the world. Technology exists to make life better for people. That's what gives it value. Well said, Floyd. I'm in complete agreement. You again? This is an internal company matter. Leave. True, I am an outsider. But I'm also Floyd's friend, so I'm gonna say my piece. Don't you dare walk all over people's dreams, especially not for personal profit. <sighs> You've made yourself very clear. I see now that you are an extremely inconvenient individual for our company. <laughs> so what are you going to do about it? Oh, howdy there, little doggy.
<laughs> this has got to be the funniest looking boss in the entire game. Because, like, in, in the actual game, it's like a tiny little dog, right? Then you get to the uh, fight, fight itself, and he looks like this monster hulk. This is Garnet, the boss's favorite hound. Garnet here has chased off everyone who interferes with our bottom line. Wow, sounds like a faithful and true companion. P Particial? We should run now. He's not wrong. Garnet's a menace. Nope, I ain't moving. Here's a bit of advice, Floyd. Sometimes, you gotta fight to make your dreams come true. Come on now, doggy. I don't wanna fight no doggy dog. I'm just getting warmed up. How's this? Time to shine! Forgive me! What to do? What to do? Poison Slash! This will make it all right. You have my thanks, Kesky. Prepare yourself. This will make it all right. Thank you kindly, Cassie.
Prepare yourself. Allow me. Here goes. Much appreciated. Yeah, this boss drops a lot. Now then. It begins. <laughs> Prepare yourself. My spear does not care. It's my turn now. Spear does not air. It's my turn to do whatever I set my mind to. Forgive me. I'm just getting warmed up. Slash. 
Here I come. I still have much to learn. Dog's been dumb. And has the stream frozen yet? No. Still running. Good. Very good. This meddling youngster is a real thorn in my side. So, what are you planning to do? Exactly what Floyd proposed. Share this here steam engine with everyone. Technology exists to make life better for people. That's what gives it value, right? <laughs> you haven't changed, Bauticio. Welcome to the Rock Company. My company. Mr. Rock. Huh. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm here to have a word with you. Oh. Have you finally decided to join my business venture? No. Sorry. Your time's valuable, I'm sure, so I'll get right to it. Mr. Rock, you deceived us, didn't you? <laughs> After you left, poverty almost brought our town to its knees. I heard the truth from Giff's own lips. He said you snuck in that extra line in the contract when we weren't looking. You were the landowner we made that deal with all along. Yes, you got me. I lied to you and your father. I wanted that silver mine, and I was willing to do anything to get it. I like how he just straight up says it, like, yeah, I lied, it was me, I did everything. <sighs> it's not even like he's holding it over his head or anything, he's just like, yeah, I did a funky funky. Whoopsies, I may have deceived you and almost destroyed your entire town. Oh well. Mr. Rock, I looked up to you. But it seems like you've strayed from the path of righteousness. We're merchants, so let's settle this dispute like businessmen, with a transaction. Sell me the rights to the steam engine. I'll pay whatever price you ask. <laughs> what? You can't be... Interesting proposal. I'm listening. This here technology is an incredible thing, but monopolizing it will only bring tears. Even a merchant needs to understand that some things are more precious than money. You don't say. Like what? Like fighting for a better tomorrow. Things like this should be shared with the whole world. If I own this thing, I wouldn't keep it to myself, <laughs> that's for sure. Hear that, Floyd? That's the reason I believe in your dream. Articio. <laughs> you really haven't changed in the slightest. 
You convinced me. Let's make a deal. Uh, sir, you can't mean to. This is what I'm talking about. So, what's your promise? 80 billion leaves. 80 billion? That's outrageous! You could buy a kingdom with that much! You said it yourself. This technology can make the world a better place. This seems a fair price to me. <laughs> I see now. Clever as always, sir. I've made up my mind. It's a deal. You want 80 billion? I'll give you 80 billion. <laughs> what? A merchant never goes back on his word, right, Mr. Rock? Of course. I'll write up the contract now. The Rock Company agrees to sell the rats to its steam engine for 80 billion leaves. Thank you kindly. Our contract has been made, Particio. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much business to attend to. Go on. I'll bring souvenirs next time I see you. 80 billion of them. I'm looking forward to that day. You know, it's funny, I kind of like how wholesomely this sort of uh, sequence ends. Like, I uh, overheard it all, Particio! Alright, this person. Yeah! <laughs> You're that Scrivener! Industrial tycoon Rock Brilliant picks business fight with roustabout merchant. A fight to the tune of 80 billion leaves. This will be on the front page of our next issue for sure. It's gonna be big. Oh, I need to tell my brother about this. You show up in a lot of odd places, don't you? Where will you find that much money? It sounds impossible. I'm pretty sure it is. The uh, money count only goes up to, uh, I think, 99 million in this game. Could be wrong, though. I talked big back there because my blood was boiling. 80 billion leaves is a bit much. I don't think the game can process it. But there's really nothing much to do except put in the work and build up my finances. What? It'd take hundreds of years to make that much capital. I've got a hot tip for you, Particio. Oh, that's so. I'll buy it. There's a noble on the western continent that has wealth to rival even the Great Rock himself. Goes by the name of Alrond. Lord of a town called Wellgrove. Well now, ain't that something? I smell a good deal. I've made up my mind. I'm going to see this, Alron. Mind shining my shoes? Oh, it's the yellow guy. Hey there, son. Working hard, huh? Yeah, 
sit right here. I'll shine those shoes to a sparkling sheen. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm working hard. I've got to earn enough to feed my family. You know, with fingers that deft, I bet you could do a whole lot of different jobs. Hey, you have anything you want to do when you grow up? Shining shoes is an honest profession, but it's hard to pay the bills with brush and wax alone. Hmm. I want to travel the world. I've spent my whole life in this town. That's why I want some sort of job that'd let me go places, see the sights. That's a nice dream. A big one, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, all polished up nice, yellow guy. Ah, oh, thanks, son. Now I can hit that dusty trail with my head held high. Hey, never lose sight of your dream. You hear me? One day, I'll change this world. I'll make it a place where folk can do the jobs they want. I promise you, it won't be long. Remember the order I got the other characters. Pretty sure I got Oswald last though. Somebody brought something up. Uh, I was watching uh, Big Think Dimension, and uh, I think it was Doctor Agro who brought it up. Uh, he was like, "No, no, it was uh, Casey." Casey was like, "By the way, uh, is Harvey real?" And Agro was like, "No, he's not." I think they mentioned how Harvey was very clearly like a reference to that uh, movie with the rabbit that was like an imaginary friend. And I thought about it, I was like, yeah, the weirdest part of that whole sequence in Oswald's back, uh, flashback was like, Harvey was taunting him in front of the cops. I said the house was burning, so it was like, at first I thought like, whoever Harvey was, he paid them off, basically, and they were just arrested because of that. So of course he could flex on them because he they were in his pocket, but then I thought, I don't know a damn thing about Harvey. Who is Harvey? And like suddenly it hit me like a truck. Yeah, all those sequences where Harvey's like, did you find the answer? Did you find the answer? Like a disembodied voice make more sense. Now I heard that the cross path mechanic was like a thing that allowed like uh, the characters to interact more. It was, that was a major problem with the Octopath one. His yes, characters did not interact. They were like in their own story bubble and the others just happened to be there. Here it's a bit more pronounced, but not by much, because like in battle characters will like react to others getting hurt or doing breaks, which is cool. So they're not just like there. They they actually like they interact up to a point. I'm looking forward to 
seeing how the glass pad thing works though. I really don't have much here. Shit. Can't get more. Just like that, all my savings have been blown. It really is just like my real life. Because I can never seem to save up anything. It might be because I keep uh, buying video games like a crazy person, but honestly, I never really got to get that much uh, in the way of video games when I was a kid. And also, I was surrounded by people who actively looked down on my, me playing video games. They were like, why can't you just be normal and do, like, manual labor? And I just, you know, I always looked at them like they were insane, because they were. Um, Howdy there, man. I'm sure I had a point here. It's my turn now. There. There we go. Prepare yourself. Allow me. My turn. Axe attack. I'm just getting warmed up. I feel like I'm really not making a lot of headway here. These encounters take a while to get through. Hey! 
customer. Now then. Impressive work, Particia. What to do? What to do? Axe attack. That's to be done. Time to shine. There. This is your chance. This will make it all right. Well, a true friend. Like the job trends are like a game thing that you can only really safely take care of, like right at the end of the game. The Altar of the Prince of Thieves. Basically, the job altar is uh, would involve uh, you fighting like a s sort of a spirit of the past. And they were super bosses. Of course, well, now I can't do it like this. So. Chosen thief. Interesting. The character almost looks like panic. Okay, looks like this one's available. Use Delsta. The recommended level is 8. Agnea's chapter's here too, so I want to have her in the party for this, but uh... Do this just yet. First up, we gotta find the, uh, find the inn, or the pub, rather. Where is the pub? Here's the inn. I have a rep Interesting. Interesting. Well, 
this. Interesting. Okay. I gotta switch out Casty, unfortunately. Oswald. Oswald's equipment is good. Yeah, okay, it's not that good. He's still wearing prisoner's clothes. It's kind of impressive. Oswald is level 20, which is really cool. Number 2. There's still a third part, but... That would be a good opportunity to unlock. Look here, partner. The whole place is wild as an unbroken horse. The raw energy is incomparable to anything I felt in prison. And the air, it's so fresh. <laughs> Smells like a deal to me. I bet you can't help but trip over opportunity in a town like this. Well, he certainly tripped over something. Uh, hey, what's the matter, fella? I am a scholar. But I am soon to starve and become a useless lump of meat. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Here, have a bite of this bread. Oh, my savior. Ah, I see they're falling for it already. Hmm. Ah, you have saved me. Yes, thanks to you, I can... Good gracious. This is my first meal in three days, nine hours, and 23 minutes. Now, hang on. You're telling me you were counting minutes even as you were dying of hunger? It is in a scholar's nature to keep records, no matter how dire the situation. Isn't that right, Regulus? Oswald? It is you, isn't it? Oswald! Huh? You two know each other? <laughs> we were friends in our academy days. <laughs> it has been quite some time. We'd frequently bring the fruits of our research to bear in our spirited discussions, huh? So then, what brought you here? <laughs> Procuring research materials, old fellow. For a, uh, hold your applause, a uh, earth-shattering invention. Oh, earth sounds nice. What is it? Most curious. Shall we talk it over? Oh, how this takes me back, Oswald. Let us do so over drinks. If we're in agreement, well, I shall go right on ahead. Remember, Oswald is a wanted criminal, and this guy's just like, yeah, let's have a drink. What's the nice. Interesting. Hmm. Let's like this. 100%, that's What's the... Okay, hmm. it's 
guy's probably like the skill check, right? Nope. Well, How do you know. Pay that much money, so I'm just gonna not do that. To the stars, to which we mere mortals turn our gaze and use to delineate our dreams, though they are far, far beyond our grasp. <laughs> and so, I have devised a device that will allow us to bring them right before our eyes. I call it. The Astronomical Telescope. Hooray! The stars have been humanity's guide since time immemorial. They know the truth of this world. But I shall be the one to lay their mysteries bare. You haven't changed a bit, Regulus. Golly! That there's one astronomical sized dream. Well, go on. Show us this telescope of yours, Regulus. You've piqued my interest as well. Is it complete? No. It will be soon. Rather, it was supposed to be. Now, oh, if only I had hit it big at the game parlor, I would have secured the last of my funds. <laughs> you don't mean the odds were ever in my favor but the stars abandoned me in my hour of need yeah, but you just misread your odds betting is a simple matter of probability you've always had an exceptionally keen mind but you're a fool when it comes to money I see you have no Say, Regulus, how much coin you got in those pockets of yours? This is all I have to my name. Yep, you sure are hard up. You were hoping we'd treat you to food and drinks from the start, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell, you got me all riled up now. What say you give me that coin? Invest this coin in me, and I reckon I can get you everything you need for your telescope. No, don't encourage. My savior. Oh boy, here we go. The Adventures of Oswald and Particio, fuck-ups extraordinaire. We need three components in order to complete my astronomical telescope. A metal working tool, a mirror, and a precision lens. Particio here shall control all the funds. Yep, leave it to me, friend. I'll get you what you need. I shall await you in the square in front of the theater. I pray to the stars for your every success. Don't get no help from me. Indulging him never ends well. <laughs> well, all right then. It was me that got the boasting anyhow. Now, I'll best get to negotiate. Wow, he really was hard up. Holy fuck. 
That's dire. 600 gil- 600 leaves. Okay. There. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby, I got all three pieces. Time to head on over to Regulus at the square in front of that theater. Oswald's just watching this like, oh boy, here we go. Particio's gonna learn. I don't even know what's gonna happen here, but I can already imagine what's happening. <laughs> How this do you, Regulus? Oh, oh! You are truly a god among mortals, a messiah, come to save this world. <laughs> That's taking it a bit too far, ain't it? I'll surely be able to assemble the telescope with these parts. Thank you ever so much. I cannot waste another second. The time has come to seal myself in my laboratory. You may find me in Montwise. Do drop by if you happen to pass through. And once my telescope is complete, we can stare the mysteries of the night sky right in the eye. <laughs> so anyway, he's absolutely going to fuck this up. Oh, the mysteries of the night sky, huh? <laughs> that gets me all excited. Then perhaps we shall pay him a visit soon. Just keep your expectations low. Switch Cassidy back in. Better yet, Timonos. Timonos needs a level up more. This is New Dasta, the metropolis. Wow. Excuse me, madam. But my apologies. Western continent when we were little, but I don't. 
don't remember any city quite like this. Hmm? What's this? These signs are everywhere. I wonder what a superstar is like. I can't Star wait to see Dolcinea perform. We should count ourselves lucky to see the greatest dancer in the land. If we don't hurry, all the good seats will be taken. Let's go. Folks can show me the way to this superstar. It's worth a try. I like how none of these people have been introduced to basic technology or anything, so like, wow, this, this thing is completely new. Like an astronomical telescope. <laughs> the term superstar, steam engine. Intimidate me. I gotta keep going. Ticket, please. Ticket? You need a ticket to see the show. Ticket? That's a fun word to say. <laughs> but we didn't have anything like that back home. Well, Mom always said to do as the locals do. So I need to find myself a ticket. She doesn't know what a ticket is. That's funny. Be a ticket guy over here, probably. No problem. Ah, shit. Here we go. 
Wait, is that Rufus Shinra? <laughs> oh wait, never mind. Shit. Ticket, please. I have one right. Thank you. Take this half with you into the theater. I will. Thank you. Thank you for coming to our theater today. Please be seated. The show will begin shortly. <sighs> Looks like I'm just in time. With a voice sweeter than honey, and dazzling dances that outshine the brightest gems, Please welcome the woman who defined the word star, the greatest dancer in the land, Dulcinea Lucille. Okay, I gotta give, I gotta give the, the dance props. The art you. direction here is it's sublime. I was born to be a star. But it is thanks to you that I can truly shine. Now then, let the night begin. If you ever had to ask, what if they gave an old school RPG AAA production values in the modern era? This is literally it. It's really cool. I could have lasted a bit longer though. to hurt it, but I, I woke up and it was just in a lot of pain. Okay. Back to it. And everyone looks so happy. Hey, let me go! Ugh. That hurt, damn it! 
If you want to watch the show, buy a ticket like everyone else. What's got your purse strings in a knot? I just wanted to take a peek. Dulcinea, the greatest dancer in the land, graces our stage. We are a theater, not a charity. Come back when you have money. Oh, sorry about that. Good grief. Well, show's over, and it looks like the stars are out of my reach. for you. It's no wonder she's a superstar. Well, well. You've got some hot moves, kid. H hot moves? That's right. I missed Dulcinea's show, but seeing you has me all fired up. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm quite fired up myself. This incredible town is overflowing with dreams. Got that right. The name's Gil, by the way. I run a tavern in the back streets. Did you know that dreams taste like beans? Be beans? I serve more than just spirits at my tavern. I've got freshly ground coffee, too. Come see for yourself. I owe you a cup for that dance earlier. Uh, really? Of course. You're more than welcome. Charm rod will do, but hey, it's whatever. <laughs> wow, this tavern is a dump. Holy shit. Welcome to Montrain's Tavern. It smells so good in here. Here, have a cup of coffee. You won't regret it. She immediately regrets it because coffee tastes kind of bad. Mm, it's bittersweet. The flavor of dreams. Only a handful of folks can become stars. The rest are just stardust in the wind. Hmm. Or so some folks say. In any case, take a load off. That's a beautiful piano. 
Can you play it? Montrain could. He was a famous pianist and a master at captivating people with song. After he retired, he took up tending this very tavern. I was born in this town, and every day was as boring as the last. Except when I could hear him playing the piano from the alley. Hearing those melodies made me forget about my troubles. Yeah, those were hot sounds. I came here whenever I could. Montrain even taught me how to play the piano. I wanted to be able to make music like him, to make others smile. So, I practiced and practiced. Sometimes the patrons laughed at me or jeered, but I never gave up. Before I knew it, years had passed. And no one paid any mind to my music. Montrain grew old and passed away. That's when it finally hit me. I've got no talent. After that, I took up tending the tavern and selling spirits. Enough reminiscing. I'm thirsty, Gil. Good grief. Is this going on your tab, too? You know you have to pay that someday, right? <laughs> Gil? I want to hear you play the piano. Sorry, but I quit. As you should. <sighs> Dreams are good for nothing but getting you hurt. Man, that's a bit harsh. Say, Gil, would you mind if I danced here? Why would you want to do that? <sighs> I guess I just feel like it. Of course. You're more than welcome to. Thank you. Now then, we need an audience if we're going to have a show. I'll go gather a crowd. Hey, now, don't get too carried away. I can only handle so many here. Bring any patrons you find to me, okay? <laughs> okay, see you soon, Gil. Something tells me things are about to get a lot livelier in here. <laughs> that was fun. Well done. Reputation hit, which is expensive. Oh, I'm gonna find the tavern. Okay, reputation rescue. Oh, 
no wonder. 72% chance. Coffee shop at. Oh, right. oh, you found another. Come on in. This is just the beginning, Gil. The allure function is still really useful, but it's also like, man, the cost of failing is pretty steep. You've already gathered quite the crowd. Are you? The crowd's all warmed up. What say we get the show started? Was incredible. I've never seen anyone dance like that before. Thank you, everyone. I knew it. Your moves really are hot. T to tell the truth, I was hoping you would dance for them, too. Say, Gil, would you mind if I stayed here to dance for a while? Not at all, but I wouldn't be able to pay you for it. I don't mind at all. Now then, let the dance continue. Did you hear? Gil's got a dancer over at his tavern. They say seeing her steps will lift your spirits. Really? Maybe we should check it out. Good morning. Feeling any better now? Yeah, a little. Morning, everybody. You're early. You seem surprised. I'm an early riser. Wrong, Gil? I was so busy getting ready here that I forgot to restock. I can take care of that. I'll leave the cleaning to you, Gil. Thanks, kid. And yeah, he's really gonna have to start paying her at some point. Out of my way! about maybe he was one of Gil's patrons well I guess I can ask him after I finish the shopping
Back so soon, kid? Did you forget something? It seems like business is booming for you. I know you. You're the guy from the theater. What brings a man of your esteem to my humble tavern? <laughs> I came to remind you of your place. Oh, okay, he's literally doing that. Just flexing on the dude. Or worse, from the sound of it. And fresh bread and spices. That's everything. Hmm. That's the man I saw earlier. Oh, good sir. Spare a leaf or two for this old man? How revolting! This is why the poor disgust me! Hey guys, I'm sensing a recurring theme in this game. <laughs> I've had more than I can bear of your reeking lot. Sensing a very recurring theme. Uh, are you alright? What's this? Another mangy cur? There simply is no end to your numbers. Luckily for you, I have work to do at the theater. This tavern burned to the ground. I feel like it's been burned. Nope, nope, it's back. Holy shit. What, what, what happened here? Gil! Are you alright? Your paces. Ah, you mean this? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. I... I fell. That had to be the mother of all falls. You are poor liar, Gil. Who did this to you? <sighs> the theater manager. <gasps> Is that the man I saw earlier? But why? Seeing this tavern thrive, just didn't sit well with him. He said if we perform again, he'll destroy the whole place. That's awful. Finally, it's time to eat the rich. <sighs> Our joy here is always fleeting at best. <sighs> We're used to it. Okay, what happened to the audio quality for that guy? Dreams really are good for nothing but getting you hurt. Yeah. After you came here, kid, I admit, I felt hopeful. Everyone here was so happy. It reminded me of my own dreams. So I started playing the piano again, writing songs. It just wasn't enough to make those dreams come true. <laughs> I'm just stardust in the wind. Please don't say that. Dreams aren't good for nothing. <sighs> you said that man managed the theater, right? He has no right to trample on the dreams of others! He's 
So I'm gonna go over there and give him an earful. Uh, really? Kid. Remember, this is the same lady who beat a boar within an inch of its life because it might have threatened her friend. Uh, this manager is going to die. He is 100% going to get killed or worse. I do not, I, I do not fancy his chances. I'll be honest. He, he's a, uh, he's a dead man walking. 100%. Like, he is definitely going to get his ass beat. can't even pretend like he's gonna make it out of his life. Excuse me, ma'am, but there's no show today. Where is that manager? Who, who might I ask is looking for... can't just go in there like he's gonna stop her <laughs> it's once again time for the violent adventures of Agnea part two okay, danger level 14 interesting so Particio's danger level was higher Definitely should have done Agnes chapter 3 first. Shall we? My turn. Troop member. Okay, great. My place sinks. Oh dear. Yeah. Dagger has to work, right? No, dagger does not work. Here goes. Spear does, though. Oh, wow, turn up the ship with that. Yeah. How's this? Yes. I still have much to learn. Prepare yourself. 
My blade sinks. Time to strike. Nice. Bravo, Ikari. Be here. I appreciate it, Timonos. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> Do what I must. What the heck are these? Now then. I almost say they're like dragons, but flame curator. Yeah, kind of looks like some sort of eyeball monster. I'm not really sure what this is. Anyway. Prepare yourself. Here goes. Time to divvy up the earnings. Bring it on. Apologies, Temenos.
that's really good. Skillfully done, Athena. Allow me. Swords and to work. A toad for your sins. You won't be. Needed. 